Hi, my name is Pat, and Jesus Christ is my Savior and my Lord. And um, I'd like to just say a few words um, before um, Diane does the uh, um, teaching for the last time. This is the third time um, that we will be going through this chapter. And like I said before, this is also right before we have the seven weeks break um, in this um, Bible study. And when we come back, we'll start again with Luke um, chapter 18. Um, I was thinking, I'm always thinking about uh, the application of the word. I love that um, I have been taught to read through the Bible. Um, and so the Bible is making a, a story in my head. Um, and that's what I want it to be. I don't want the story of the world or what the world teaches. I want what God thinks is important to be a part of my life on a daily basis. And so um, since I am doing that, I do. Um, I can see again or remember again the things that God has shown me in other parts of the word that are very important for me to walk out Um I was thinking, you know, um, right in that second verse um, near the end, it says that to cause one of these little ones um, to stumble. Um, this is for the NIV. Um, God has a heart for the um, for people, and He definitely has a heart for the young and the innocent. Not even thinking in terms of little, you know, human beings like children, but those who are even young in the faith. Um, people who are, and so it's very important, like I said, that when I am in any place of teaching, even James talks about this, you know, that not many of us should call ourselves teaching teachers, and so the thing is that I want to be in the Word, um, and I want to memorize the Word, I want to speak what I know that He has taught me, and things that he has said to me, and not to go to the left or right of that, but to stay on course. And um, so I am not to cause people um, to be confused or to um, to tell them something that is not biblical. If it's not in the Bible, uh, for me, it's a way that seems right to a man, but in the end it leads to death. Um, in the second paragraph in um, verse 5, it talks about forgiveness. Um, that forgiveness piece is very tied into my own um, recovery. I came in here for recovery. Um, I had difficulty controlling um, my uh, flesh in the area of food. And so um, one of the things that I know is that if I harbor bitterness and anger in my heart, it's an open door to go back um, to um, the food. That includes other things too, fear, you know, impatience, grandiosity, self-pity, you know, you name them. Um, um, I, the Lord tells me, you know, that I need to get rid of those things. It talks about that in, in Ephesians 4, um, 30 through 32. It talks about how it's important for me to get rid of all bitterness, rage, and anger, brawling and slander. Um, it names these things again and again in the Bible. It has these lists that I want to memorize so that I could practice doing it. Um, God wants me to practice them because he's also given his spirit to me. His spirit lives inside of me and it helps me to walk the walk. Um, in verse 5, it talks about increasing our faith. Um, I know no better way to increase my faith um, than to be in his word. The Bible says that uh, faith comes from hearing and hearing the word of God. <clears throat> I love it that uh, I have purpose in my mind to listen to the word daily in addition to reading it and writing about it. Uh, <clears throat> when I take into account all the things that I could put into my mind and into my heart in a 24-hour period, especially um, in a society that um, it idolizes um, media. Uh, media is an idol. It can be a, a quite an idol. And so um, by not doing anything, I am 
um, really saturated. Um, I can be saturated with the Antichrist message. Mm. And so, no, I want to do the things that increase my faith, not the things that turn me on to fear. <clears throat> and back to, you know, uh, um, the way I was, the old me. I know, that's not me, the old man. Um, it says here in uh, verse 6 about obedience, you know, talking about, um, you know, God reminds me that he owns the cattle on the hill, you know. And so that means that if I put my heart to his heart, you know, put my little cheek to his cheek, you know, face to his face, and be that close um, to him. He wants me to know that everything he owns, I own too. It's like that father who was speaking to that son. We, sp we spoke about him a few weeks ago um, with the prodigal son. You know, he said, I'm the son that stayed home. He said, everything I have is yours, you know, it's yours. And God wants me to know that. You know, Pat, everything I have is yours. You know, walk with me. Stay with me. Believe the things that I say. And like I said, I want to be in this word so that it's not theoretical for me that it is, um, you know, it's true. And then this talks about, you know, that we are unworthy servants. Yeah, I want to really believe that. And not just putting little mouth to my words about that. This is truth. Um, that um, I don't deserve anything that God has given unto me. I want to have that contrite and lowly spirit that it speaks about in that Isaiah 57, 15. Because it also promises me if I have that spirit really have that spirit he is with me he says I also live with those you know who have that contrite and lowly spirit and so no Lord I don't want to have this snotty sense of entitlement you owe me no you don't owe me you have given me the greatest gift which is you and let me stay very, very close to you, Lord. Let me do that. You know, and then I thought about those lepers. We talked about that later on. You know, these men that had leprosy. They, cl they cried out with a loud voice. You know, Jesus, help me. You know, please help me. And this is what I want to do, too. You know, people will say to me, girl, you know, I mean, the voices, mainly the voices, sit down, girl, and shut up. I still hear those voices. No, I am not sitting down and shut up. I am going to tell you what the Lord has placed on my heart to tell, and that is what I need to do. And I can just go on and on and on in, this, in these chapters. This is why I love the Bible, because it's just a reminder again the Lord speaks, and I want to listen. You know, um, the thing that is so beautiful about the Word is that it encompasses prayer anyway. Um, I need to pray even before my mind is opened up. Because a lot of times, you know, before I get into the Word, my mind is full of other stuff that is diverting me from even hearing what God wants to speak. Uh, but when he speaks to me, he actually gives me the words that I need to pray back to his heart. Yeah, prayer moves mountains, um, but it's a type of prayer that God wants me to have. And that's prayer based in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, it's not just any old prayer. It's that prayer of belief and who he is and what he has done in my life and also praying for the will of God that what his will is and when I'm in his word I am reminded about what his will is for me I'm reminded of that and I am given the words to speak it very grateful that he gives me this word <laughs> 